Huh, Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. Reese, what up? What up, dude? I'm feeling a lot better, man. I, I was in bed all... I pretty much stayed in bed all day today. Um, so, yeah, hold on. Let me... Can you hear me and everything? Let's do an audio test first, and then we'll we'll get into uh, chatting and stuff. I just want to make sure my audio is working. Um... Let me test it up, test it up. Chatting stuff. I just want to make sure my audio oh, is yeah. working. Oh, yeah. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. You can hear me? All right, sweet. All right. Let me uh, refresh some things. I think we're good. Let me turn off my phone. Let's get this thing going, man. Um. All right, so we already have Reese in the chat who's already saying, what up, dude? What up, dude? Uh, I am feeling a lot better, by the way. I got home from work last night, and I was starting to feel better. Like, I didn't want to go to work yesterday. I was like, dude, sit it out. You've been pushing yourself a lot lately. Like, just kind of chill out and relax. But sometimes going to work actually makes me feel better. Uh, I like my job a lot. So going to Lego is like kind of gives you like a second wind. And then I came home last night, and like uh, I was like, I pretty much have no money in my account. And... My mom, like the saint that she is, she was like, hey, I'll put some money in your account. You can grab some groceries because I know you're just like eating peanut butter and jelly and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but it's it's fine. I don't mind eating peanut butter and jelly. I mean, it gets old after the second sandwich, but it's like, hey, th these are the times we I live in. You know, I'm not I'm not uh, doing so well financially. So she was like, uh, you know, don't worry about it. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. So she put some money in my account. Then I come home and my roommate was like, hey, we're all going to this, this place called the 626 like market. And it's like all these uh, Asian food, like, you know, fusion food and different things. And it's like this big, like, carnival-like setup. There's people there selling artwork and stuff like that. And then it's mostly these booths that just, like, sell really good food. And uh, and I seen my roommate make a video on this on YouTube, and it looked like a lot of fun. And I was like, man, I would love to go. Like, I actually have the energy to go out for once. Um, but I'm broke. And, and I feel bad because every time he invites me to do stuff, I'm like, I can't because I'm broke or I don't feel good. There's always, like, a reason. And so he was, uh, so my, I was on the phone with my mom still, and she says, you know what, I just put a few more dollars in your account. She's like, you know, go hang out with your friend. She's like, I know you haven't done anything outside of your apartment other than go to work in like a while now. So she's like, here's a few bucks, you know, 20 bucks is all I got, you know, extra. I'll give it to you, you can go get, you know, some food at this place. So I went out last night and had the time of my life, and I ate some really, really good food, and I spent the whole 20. <laughs> uh, I came right down to the dollar. I spent exactly $20. Um, so uh, so I had fun last night, and then I came home today, or we got home like late, like around midnight, and I slept till like noon, and then woke up, walked my dog, came back, and like uh, uploaded some videos to YouTube, and I just let them upload on their own, took a nap, wake up, you know, <laughs> hit, uh, you know, publish, and then go back to bed and upload the next one, and uh, yeah, so that was my day, so I feel a lot better now, actually. Uh, what's up, Sona? Sona, noise. Uh, so let me explain briefly, since I just went on a whole tangent about what I've been up to. Let's talk about this game real quick, and let's start it really quickly, too, because I, I'm, like, I'm excited. Um, so I had, like, $6 on my uh, account still from, like, a, a, like a, I don't know, a month ago, a so ago, like a month or two ago. I put, um, like, 20 bucks on my account on PlayStation just in case I saw, like, a game for really cheap. So this is Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, or Umbrella Core, Umbrella Core, and... Uh, I have heard nothing good about this game for the most part. And I think I've seen maybe one or two YouTubers play it once each. Uh, so I don't even remember fully, like, the game. I remember it's kind of like an over-the-shoulder shoot 'em kind of game, I guess. It, you can play online against other people. Tonight we're going to do the tutorial and then maybe the experiment, and we'll just talk about Venom stuff. But I saw this for, like, $5, and you get, like, all the DLC with it and everything, or most of the DLC, for, like, 5 bucks. And I was like, you know, I know we were going to play Resident Evil Revelations tonight, but this won't require as much of my attention as Revelations will. Uh, Revelations, I'll get caught up in talking about the plot and the story, and this is more of just a shooter kind of game. So I figured this would be fun for the stream so we can all actually talk. Uh, so that's what we're going to do tonight. So if you're here, thank you so much. And if you're watching later, thank you so much. Let me know your thoughts on anything we talk about tonight down in the comments. Uh, we have Reese in here, Sona. Uh, all my friends don't know who you are. What? That's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm nobody. It's all right. Uh, Dion, Henry, what's up? It's sad I don't have a PS4 yet. That's okay, man. You will get there. I just got one recently. Um, and I, pretty much the only way I was able to keep it 
uh, you know, essentially in Get Spider-Man was to sell my Xbox and all my games. And I had, uh, I had a lot of games, uh, and it's a, it was kind of a bummer to get rid of everything. But hey, in exchange, I got some awesome Venom figures. I got the um, uh, the Spider-Man game coming out. So, you know, I, I definitely can't complain too much. Um, and Caden, what's up? Hey, Seek, how's it going, everybody? Where's Barry? Have you been streaming here lately? Uh, just Resident Evil. We played Re Revelations 2. And uh, by the way, big shout out to all of you guys here. But Where's Barry is one of those guys that uh, I really tried to mimic myself in a way a after as far as like someone who does research before he posts videos. I really like that. that uh, it makes a lot of sense to me to do your homework before you turn in your homework. Um, and so uh, I really like Barry's channel. So if you haven't checked it out and you're a Res Evil fan, please do. He's doing some fun things that I can't do because I don't have like a like an awesome setup or anything. But he's got this great thing where he's playing a modded version of Res Evil 1 where it's like, oh, Barry turned into a, a hunter. <laughs> and like, oh, I walked into this room and there's a shark flopping around <laughs> instead of like Plant 42 or whatever. And it's, it's really fun. So I would highly recommend you check out his channel. Uh, he's an awesome dude. Uh, but as far as your question, Barry, yeah, I've been streaming just Revelations on here. We went through the first episode of Barry and Claire's uh, playthrough and the second episode. And we were going to play the third one tonight, but then this uh, treated me. Uh, I had like 7 or $8 or whatever left on my uh, credit for uh, for PlayStation, and this is only 5 bucks right now. So I figured, why not? <laughs> let's, let's try this game out. Um, this is one of two Resident Evil games that I've never played. I've played them all except for this one and Survivor Code Veronica. They made like a first person shooter Code Veronica game and I never got to play that because it was only released in Japan. Um... <laughs> hey, yes, Pride. That's right, Sona. Uh, dang it, Typo. That's okay, dude. You need to be known. Oh, I, that's all right. I don't need it. I don't need people knowing me. Whoa. That's weird. Does it even look like my legs are moving? Looks like I'm on like a Segway. Can the camera back the up a little bit? Can I? Ah, oh, we could do this. There we go. So far, so good. What the f the? Oh, so what do we do about the piles? I don't understand. Do they just keep coming? Do we gotta light the pile on fire? Is it one of those kind of games? Um, Humongous, what's up, Reese? Got the Venom family in here. Yeah, we're doing good, huh? Got a lot of you guys in there. How do I uh, knife something? It's a sub weapon. Oh, here we go. Is that, is that what you mean? Is that my sub weapon? No, that's not a sub weapon. How do I switch? Oh shit, there goes a grenade. So I, I, <laughs> I don't even know what the point of this game is. There's all my grenades. Oh. You see that? How do I switch weapons? Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> um. Anyway, let's, let's get back to the chat for a second. Eyes, lungs, pancreas, so many snacks, so little time. Oh, shoot! I'm so confused on how to... Yeah, I know that, but it's like... It's like, hey, go here, do this. It's like, okay, yeah, but how do I do it? Change weapon. There we go. Oh, that was it? That was the whole mission? Okay. Um, hey, person inviting me to a community. I don't want to do that tonight. Um, 
Is it this is an online game? Yes, humongous. Uh, it is. How do I climb? Do I climb? Am I supposed to climb? Sorry, I, I thought I would be chatting a lot more right now, but uh, this game has got me perplexed. Uh, is this Operation Raccoon City? No, it is not. <laughs> it's been a long time since I watched Resident Evil. Well, you're not really watching it tonight either. <laughs> Sorry to say. <laughs> well, my, at least I know my aim's getting worse. Uh, oh, you sent me... Oof, I just sent it to you so you can join later. Oh, okay. It's a community discussed up. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Humongous. And then I will uh, I will get on that uh, when the st stream is over. I'll look into that. Thank you for sending that to me. Um, and I'm glad I'm feeling better, too. Thank you, Sona. That was for you, Sona? I know I had a handgun. I just was like, how do I switch to it? But I, I saw up in that top left corner that... Uh, Oh, it said zombie shield. What's that mean? Well, I guess it means exactly what it's supposed to mean, but... Oops, all right. We're going to die. How do I... Oh, jeez. Gotta go this way now. Okay. Crouch. Fully crouch. <laughs> crouch a little bit. Crouch a lot. Um, hey, Seek Center and Res Evil fan, what do you think of the Underworld movies? Uh, I, I guess I like the first one. Um, I guess they're kind of the same thing, aren't they? Um, I, uh, I like the first one, um, the first Underworld, but I, I'm i trying to think. Uh, I don't know. I guess the third one was okay, too. Wasn't the third one... Um, wasn't the third one, like, the prequel? Uh, I think I, that one's okay. I like the third one a little bit. Rise of the Lycans, right? They weren't called werewolves. Um, yeah, I guess I like those two. I, the second one I, is... Uh, I don't know. I think at the time I pr I probably liked them a lot more because uh, I was like a a goth kid <laughs> who uh, you know definitely had a crush on Kate Beckinsale. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna guess I thought they were great at one point, um, and that I just think they're okay now. Boom! Completed. All right, that wasn't too bad. I mean, I, 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 it was rough starting, uh, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, once I realized there was things around the screen, uh, I was just staring at my gun the whole time. Uh, and that, that didn't get us anywhere. Uh, if anyone else has a PS4 here, you should join it too. I'd like to build up a hotspot to talk PS4 or talk on PS4. It's called Venomaniacs, in case you're interested. Uh, I like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, uh, if anybody wants to, uh, make sure you join. And yeah, thanks for sending me that request. I'll look at it when we're done with the, the stream tonight. So anyone watching later on YouTube, uh, is there a link, Hugh, uh, Hugh, that I can link to people? Um, if so, like, send it to me. Uh, send me a, a link. Not in the chat here, but um, like on Twitter or something. And, uh, and I'll include it in this video when I upload it later. Uh, okay, let's do some advanced training. I think I'm ready. I like parasites. I like symbiotes. Yeah, I think I started calling you guys parasites. <laughs> uh, you guys let me know if that's okay. <laughs> I don't want to come across offensive. But I think other people use symbiotes and, you know, symbiote crew or whatever, venom, venom, you know, venom maniacs. And, like, there's a lot of them that are already taken. But pa I like parasites. I, I like the the double connotation of, like, where it's like, oh, I'm, I'm being nice because I'm calling you guys parasites with a smile. But that word itself is, like, nobody wants to be called a parasite. <laughs> I think symbiote's a little bit more like, yeah, I'll be a symbiote. Why not?
Boom. I'm getting the hang of this. So what's the latest with Venom? Looks very CG eye heavy. Uh, yeah, that's probably the latest with them. I'll get to that one second. I think I skipped a few. Hugh, I'm going to be getting a PS4 in a couple months, so if you're around then, I'll definitely join, Caden says. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, definitely join up. Hugh's been a fun guy. I like his comments on the videos, so uh, he seems all right to me. Uh, first person to call me out when I say uh, gets a cookie. Oh, first person to call me out when I say pansexual pride. Oh, or transgender pride gets a cookie. I'll call you out. Like, about what? See, the bigger deal you make of it, I think the more attention you're calling, you know, like, like I, I don't know. I, I, I'm with you. I, obviously, I support the hell out of you, dude. You're my friend. But uh, it doesn't it doesn't have to be every comment, you know. It's like <laughs> no one's no one here dislikes you. Uh, we like you for who you are. You're awesome. So I think you're amongst friends. You're fine. Um, Parasite sounds cool. I'm into it. Oh, you like it? All right, cool. Um, so Barry's question was the latest with Venom. So they're still working on the CG. I, uh, I the right now they're they're doing more. Um, Venom is doing more ADR work right now for the movie. Um, so like, uh, kill zombies with the heated brain. Oh, that's this thing, right? Okay. Um, they're doing a lot of ADR right now. Uh, so they had Shope Aluko, and then I saw on Scott Hayes's, uh, Instagram, uh, that he posted a video where he was at, at the, wait, how do I charge it? I did it earlier. No, that's not what I want to do. Uh, charge heated brainer. That's what I... Oh, left trigger. Wow, that's a... Really? Boat? You have to hit both? Ah, oh, okay. Ah, okay. All right. Oh, it didn't heat up all the way. Okay. Um, will you be playing the next Fallout? Uh, no, probably not. Uh, even though I'm from West Virginia, and that sounds like it'd be fun to go home again. Um, I don't think so. Probably not. Oh, that destroys. Oh, okay. Um, do you think any other symbiotes will survive this movie? I don't know. Well, I'm sure at least two... Uh, if the Carnage, if, if Carnage pops up, I'm guessing he'll make it to the next movie. Um, and then Venom. I don't know about the others. It'd be nice if Scream or someone survived so we can get, like, another story, uh, with them. But, I don't know, sometimes if people want to treat movies like they're comic books. And it's like, uh, it's like, now sometimes things gotta end in movies. Like, they gotta just do it once and, and move on. Um... So, uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't do ADR. Pete, yes, right. Who, that was nice meeting him. When I got to meet him, that was really cool. He was a nice guy. Um, but so, so Scott Hayes is now doing ADR. So I'm keeping an eye out for any of their actors that are going. But it looks like this whole past week was ADR week. And probably some of next week might as well, um, from what I understand. So, uh, so they're calling actors to bring them in as they need them. Um, I've been hearing a lot of rumors about the Venom movie <laughs> lately. Uh, obviously, Barry probably knows a lot about this, where people will just send him information, and they won't check anything, and they'll just be like, hey, here's what I heard, here's what I heard. And it honestly gets um, it gets a little annoying, like, and a little overwhelming. Um, it's it's not something I'm, I'm a big fan of. I'm new to it, too. I, I've never really had it on this scale before. And I wouldn't say I have a ton, but, like, 10 to 20 in like a couple days is that that's a lot to me <laughs> like i'm like my channel's not that big i shouldn't have that many people reaching out to me about uh venom um so uh so yeah i don't know i don't know what's going on um I, but i don't believe any of it anytime someone writes me it's no offense to any of you guys out there i love you all you're very awesome but uh i can't just say yes to everything i can't just go oh yeah like this, Ash says, Venom will be PG-13 because it's confirmed Spider-Man will be in future films. See, like that stuff right there. Uh, see, I also don't like that. Uh, sorry to call you out, Ash, but uh, nothing has been confirmed. <laughs> like, nothing has been confirmed. Now, granted, at Comic-Con, Ruben Fleischer said, hey, look, I would like to see Spider-Man one day, and so would Sony, you know, see Spider-Man in a film with Venom again. 
He goes, uh, so I'm sure that's on their minds, but that's all he said. And then recently with this Variety article, there's no quotes in there. That if you read that article, and this is why I didn't make, I made a video, I full on filmed it and edited it, and then I deleted it. Because I was like, you know what? I'm not going to post a video and feed into this bullshit where these people are like, oh, this is confirmed and this is confirmed. It's like, it's not confirmed. There's no direct quotes from the, the MPAA didn't list the rating. Uh, the Sony executives did not give the interviewer a quote about, uh, you know, a, you know, to corroborate that story. Um, like, so no, it's none of that's confirmed. So to say that is, is not true. Um, to say that word. Yeah, you got click. Well, it's, here's the thing is you didn't get clickbaited. Um, it's just, there could be some truth to it. I mean, I would never say it's just downright false. All I'm saying is that the article itself was not, it didn't quote anyone saying that. And that the thing about that article was it was pretty well written and it had quotes in it about like silver and black and other things. And then it just had this random paragraph thrown in about, uh, you know, about that. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, what? But there's no quote. Like, no, where are they getting this information from? All it said was, oh, Sony is, uh, you know, they have um, their brain trust says that they're going to put in, you know, that they there's like people on the board of Sony or something that don't want Venom to be rated R. But it's like, but what does that mean? For all I know, there's 10 people in that committee and only two of them don't want it to be rated R. So that would mean they're not the majority. So, so it's such a vague comment. It, 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 it doesn't amount to anything. Um, it's just hearsay. And I don't make videos on hearsay. Uh, I will address a rumor if it gets really out of control, but this thing, I'm just like, I'm not gonna feed this. I'm not gonna feed this beast of, uh, of people just believing everything they read. Uh, it's just, yeah, so. So yeah, I'm sorry, man. I, uh, but if Venom has not officially been rated yet, it may still be PG-13, 100%. It could still be PG-13. My gripe isn't that the movie is going to be PG-13. I don't care either way. I'm still going to go see the movie. I would, wouldn't mind it being rated R because I thought that was the whole point of it. But if it turns out they get cold feet and make it PG-13, that's fine. I just want it to come from, like, the MPAA. That's all. <laughs> like, that's my only thing. Uh, so I'm, like, not super mad at anybody about, like, you know, that. I just, when I see people use words like confirmed, I'm like, it's, nothing's been confirmed. Just because 20 websites say it doesn't make it confirmed. Um, so, yeah, that's my that's my rant on that. Um, not going to do the hashtags? That's okay. No, you can do the hashtags. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's just a rumor right now. We're waiting for Sony to give us the, the, the word. I tried finding a link for it, but there isn't. All you do is search Venomaniacs on the community tab on your PS4. Okay, so there's tips for you guys out there who want to do that. And if I miss your comment, feel free to repeat it. I am way behind on stuff. Um, I have something important important to say. Hi, says Sona. Hello, Sona. Uh, and big shout out to Martin Batts, uh, one of the actors from the Venom movie, who was nice enough to record an intro for the show. Uh, he's also going to be in the upcoming Tales from the Hood uh, 2 movie, which I'm very excited about. Uh, I will probably review that movie because I'm excited to see it. And uh, he's also going to be on The Oath, the TV show The Oath. Um, but he, him and Jared Bankins and Ariadne uh, Joseph and uh, our friend Ellen Gerstein, they all did um, amazing intros for the show. And I'm very, very grateful to, to have four actors now from the movie take time out of their day to, uh, to do that. I mean, that's insanely cool. Especially considering I am not a big show. So it's like, I often wonder, like, oh man, are people just going to think it's a waste of their time? You know, and uh, to get four actors already is awesome. And I did reach out to, like, I think like 15 actors in the movie. And, if, and I, you know, most of them didn't reach, reach back to me. But the fact that those four did was insanely cool of them. So I am very grateful for, uh, for those four doing that for our show. Uh, Cosmic, oh, is that the website you went to? Oh, oh, that's nice. Uh, Cosmic Book is that is that the name of the website? Yeah, there's a bunch of websites out there that just like they're just like oh Variety said it. It's like but Variety didn't say it. <laughs> like uh, well, like ver the the art person who wrote the article at Variety said it, but no one at Sony said it. You know, so eating people's face off sounds right. Yeah, it depends on how they edit it though. They could cut away. I mean, you didn't. 
Remember I made that comment in my breakdown video where I would have liked to see blood splatter all over the uh, old lady in the convenience store. That didn't happen, so, you know, there's a chance. There's a chance that they might cut it. Um, a lot of people say that uh, they don't want to see Eddie eat people because it's very out of character for 616 Eddie. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. He's bit people before. Um, but you're right. He mostly just like snaps their neck or throws them aside or, you know, whatever. Um, he did eat carnage though. He did eat the carnage symbiote <laughs> at one point. I'm just going to do each of these one more time and we'll end this episode. And then we'll do one more episode after this where we uh, play the actual, like, you know, whatever the game is. Um, but I just want to do this so I can keep up with you guys for right now. Uh, but Eddie did, uh, eat the carnage symbiote at one point. Granted it wasn't a person, but technically that's cannibalism because it was a symbiote eating another symbiote. Uh, that happened in the Howard Mackey uh, book. Um, but mostly, yes, that is correct. Eddie has not really devoured a whole person. That was more of a Mac Gargan did that. Um, sorry for tagging me in the article. Oh, did you tag me in it? I don't know if I... Oh, I, I, you know what? I don't know if I saw that from the tag, though. So it's okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. You, If you guys want to tag me on stuff on Twitter, that's fine. Uh, I'm totally okay with that. That's not the... The issue, uh, the issue is just like when when words like confirmed are used. Uh, Barry and I used to joke about this all the time. There was a guy who, um, when I was watching Where's Barry's channel, uh, there was a, another guy making uh, Resident Evil content, and he would say everything was confirmed when it wasn't. Like he, and so it became this big joke that me and Barry would repeat all the time, where we're just like, oh, uh, you know, Claire Redfield and Resident Evil Seven confirmed, you know, and it's just like none of it was confirmed. Um, so, so that word is like, <laughs> it's like a triggering word for me, uh, because, uh, because it makes me think of those days. So I'm like, oh, this is what Barry went through. <laughs> so yeah, it's all good. Do I like Nick Cage as an actor? Yeah, sure. If you put him in a crazy enough role, he'll be awesome at it. I love him in, um, uh, eight millimeter. That's probably my favorite Nick Cage movie. I think that's an amazing movie. His acting does is, does entertain. He plays one of my favorite superheroes, Ghost Rider, um, and he doesn't he does an okay job at it. Caden <laughs> um, says it kind of gets annoying seeing these big MCU fanboy channels and their obsessive hate with Sony and Venom. It's kind of annoying uh, seeing people not let others like stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, here's the thing: is we're just gonna have to get used to that. And the more we complain about it, the more the, the louder they get. Um, you know, I know I talk about it. I don't I don't ever really name them by uh, by name usually, uh, but uh, you guys bring them up all the time. Which is that comic book cast dude? I saw him on Twitter just like going off on people talking about the Disney like you know because Disney when they're buying Fox. I mean I heard this months ago. Uh, if the if the deal went through, that probably anywhere from like two to four thousand people could lose their jobs. And uh, that's a real thing. Like, that's a pretty real issue that's going to happen. Now, granted, there's, you know, there's going to probably be some maneuvering, some things where they can try to keep as many jobs as possible. Certainly, they would rather have the be the good press than the bad press. So I'm sure Disney will do everything they can. Um, no doubt about it. As someone who used to work for them, you know, like, I, I'm sure they'll, they'll do what they can as far as that goes. Um, but it is a real thing to be concerned about. And so a lot of people online were being like, oh, well, this is what you MCU fans get, you know, for wanting Wolverine in the same movie with Captain America. Um, you know, now you're gonna cost like, you know, your, your, your complaining and whining is gonna cost uh, 4,000 jobs. And it's like, you know, it's like, the thing is that was gonna be inevitable anyway. Disney wants everything. Uh, whether fans complained or not, Disney was gonna buy Fox. So it's just, just the way it is. Um, so, uh, so I don't know if that's fair to throw it all on the fans either, even though they're loud and obnoxious sometimes. Um, I still don't think that's like fully fair. Oops. Um, Venom is Hulk in disguise. Confirmed! Then how did they fight each other, Barry, in Hulk versus Venom? <laughs> I just witnessed a huge monster, uh, wait, hold on, let me read that. Hugh says, the old lady looks surprisingly unshocked for someone who witnessed a huge monster eat someone. I hope they won't, uh, hope they won't, but considering the director referred to him as a brain-eating alien, I have very little. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the final product, I guess, gives. Because, you know, they do that a lot in trailers nowadays, too, where they, um, where they, uh, they don't show you, like, they, they show you alternate cuts in trailers while they're still editing the real movie. So, you know, they're, so it's hard to take trailers exactly for what they show you because they might, uh, they might be withholding information or hiding something from you. Um, why do zombies just sit there? <laughs> I don't know. They're waiting for my brains. Um, oh, yeah, the, the, the bees, the bees. Hold on, I'm going to show your comment. I, I think it was held for review, but yeah, I got your comment there, Ash. Yeah, the, uh, what is that, Wicker Man? Ugh, that definitely one of the worst movies ever. Oh. That scene where Venom's head pops out of Tom Hardy's body the way Tom reacts is actually realistic. He looks scared, but doesn't want to do anything and tick Venom off. Yeah, that's a good shot. Uh, that scene in the trailer. I like that a lot, too. The thief in the shop was probably some bloke they asked off the street to play in the film. I don't think so. His reactions are pretty good. I kind of liked his reactions, considering there was actually no monster there in front of him. He did pretty good. Um, there's another part of that scene that they cut out, because they showed it at Comic-Con, which was the guy, like, terrorizing the lady at the counter. He's, like, you know, uh, threatening her or something and saying stuff, and then that's when Venom's, like, Eddie's, like, all right, you know, I got to go be Venom now. And then he comes around the corner as, like, you know, this giant monster. Um, so they cut some of that out, unfortunately. Oh, you think his acting was unrealistic? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, okay, that's fair enough. I don't know. I mean, he's pretending a giant monster's there. I would say he probably should have, like, looked at his, like, lips should have quivered a little bit more. Like, a, <laughs> I really like Jared Benkins uh, acting when he, like, when he had his hand up to through the glass with um, uh, Riz Ahmed. And then you saw the alien symbiote clutch onto him and he like twists and contorts and he goes, ah, and then like symbiote comes out of his mouth. That's good acting. Uh, I will say that. I will say that he obviously, Jared, looks like he does a tremendous job. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess that guy compared to that, sure, not very good. Uh, <laughs> but I do like the look in his eyes though. He's kind of like, you know, like a little bit, like a little bit uh, in one of the shots. It, it sold me a little bit. Um, Caden says I got school tomorrow, so I'm going to go to sleep. Have a good day. Have a good day and night, Caden. Everybody send him some love. Um, yeah, that's why I'm still holding my breath. Yeah, I'm with you, Hugh, on that one. Uh, what am I doing? I can't even sleep. <laughs> Ash says it's 530 in the UK. Dang, man. Get some sleep, dude. Um, would you bond with a symbiote? Absolutely. freaking lootly I have enough uh, health problems that a symbiote could feed off me for like three lifetimes. Uh, there's aneurysms, uh, there's, uh, <laughs> there's all kind of problems I have that it could just s suck juices and chemicals out of me forever and it would be fine. I would probably make a symbiote superhuman. Like, it, it already has superpowers, but I would probably give it more. It would be like a symbiote, I'd be like the spider biting Peter Parker if a symbiote bonded with me. It would find all these new powers it could do. It'd be like, whoa, I learned this too? Thanks, human host. Um, oh, they showed it. It sounds funny. Uh... Oh, yeah? Did they, they show that one? Uh, Jared looks strained in that scene, which makes it more scary and awesome. I agree. He, he sells it. Um, all right, so let's do this. Um, we'll continue the, uh, the Venom talk as we now jump into the uh, experiment. So uh, this will end this episode. So when I re-edit these later, I'll cut this. This will be the end point for the first episode. So those of you watched uh, later on, thank you so much for being here. And everyone here live, thank you again for being here. Uh, but from here on out, we're going to play the experiment. And I'll consider that a separate episode when I re-edit this later. So have a good one. Peace. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?